You know, my name is Kev Matara, the incredible, and uh, we're about to get into OMG on my grind. And today, Maze Nimabambika Sana, because I've got a very special guest. She's called Maureen Koet. She's an actress, singer, and songwriter. Hello there. Um, um, <laughs> Maureen, how are you doing? I am good. <laughs> when was the last time I saw you? 2017, I think. 2017 yeah. at 2FM. Uh, 2FM, 1FM, 2FM, yeah. FM, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you're working on that project. Is it Age of Grace? Age of Grace, which is still yet to... Yeah. It's still, it, it's still in, the, in our archives. For real? Yes. How, how was it, my, it was working on it? Yeah. yeah, it was a special... It was my first ever production uh, to create yeah. or make. Yeah. Um, so, you know, so there were... You know, it was, it was a journey. It was quite a journey. Yeah. Um, um, very, very exciting, yes. um, quite a number of challenges. Um, so we got to a point where we felt, okay, uh, you know what, let's um, just to be able to sort out a few issues that came up yeah. uh, along the way. Yeah. We decided, okay, let's shelve this one and then dive into the next one right. as we pave the way for Age of Grace. So, yeah, uh, yeah we went um, forth or, yeah, forward and uh, created the extremities. Age of Grace is also a web series. It's a web series as well. Dope, yes. dope. So yeah. we'll talk about that before we bounce. For sure. But right now, my guys, I got to tell you, you no, know, Jamie, I'm big in uh, movies and matters, series, nini, nini. Like in this one, man, Maureen, whatever you did here, because I know you also produced it, you directed it. Yes, I re I wrote it. Yeah. Um, director, Anito Dantes Mwendo. Oh, Dantes, okay. Amazing uh, guy. Um, yeah. I'm co-producing alongside Kibi Kenneth. Yeah. Who is uh, my my um, colleague and very, very good friend. Yeah. And we have an, a fantastic team. But it's a dope um, uh, storyline. Before you get into it, before you Thank explain you. it, <laughs> I just want people to listen to and actually watch the, the trailer. I'm going to play it right now. My guys, get into our website. It's www.vibesradio.co.ke. We are live right now. Have a listen, Maze. Actually watch it and then... Judge it for yourself because Nili Chekiki to Maze Juzi and I was like, no way. This one, whatever this chick is on, super creative. Have a listen and then we'll talk about it in just a second. Let's go. My Yanks. <laughs> Deep in East African suburbia. Hands and feet carry a mind of their own. Free at last. You go mute. They come alive. They fight. They love. Check it with me, guys. And I'm a lizard. They sing and dance. I don't know. hip hop. Kill a mahali. Oki skip na maro. Bila kujali. Because your silence is their power. It's them or us. And they would do everything to keep it. We have to keep that rift going on the other way. We'll go back to their mouths and brains telling us what to do. With talent spanning East Africa, West Africa, and the Caribbean. Starring Wanjiru Washira as Teke. We don't like penalties, only ketepati. Uh -huh. Wait, what? Why are you whispering? Starring Maureen Koech as Dole. Oh! Or then you can be a safari rally car driver. <laughs> and in Katha in Karote as cutie call. You write by others and yourself and God above all will bless the work of your hands. <laughs> Starring Lord Frank as Achilles. Well, hello there, ladies. So who's Fitzo and Sanga? Starring Rusian Dietrich as Steppy. Stupid feet. Hmm. Who hijacked our living space at home? Really? That's simple. Then just kick them out. Starring <laughs> Kebby Kenneth and Paul O'Galley as Sanga and Fitzo. All right. I think that's, that's enough for now, man. Hey, hey, and yeah, Maureen. This is just off the chain, Yanni, by the way. Let's just, let's just start from the bottom. Yeah. How did you come about with this uh, the storyline? How did you even, you know, picture it? Okay, first of all, yeah. talk about the whole uh, uh, talk about the whole web series. What is it about yeah. from your own words from somebody, right. so that somebody can actually understand what we're talking about here? Yes. Um, now, uh, our hashtag is actually Talking Limbs. Just to, to just really spell it out for guys out there. Yes. Yeah? yeah. So, we figured you know um th this actually the conversation started uh, at the studio when i was recording music okay um with my uh, with my uh, music producer and at that point um <laughs> one of us between myself and my music producer yeah. one of our socks was torn yeah. i will not say who uh <laughs> because yeah me i don't roll with uh, torn socks and Ooh. my producer claims so <laughs> so <laughs> we 
we can guess who it is. <laughs> we can all guess who it was, but anyhow. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we got to talking and we were like, so what would your foot say? As in, like, you know, you know, trying to argue and, you know, laugh and discuss yeah. between, you know, the two of us. And we're like, what would your legs, you know, or, or feet say to each other, right. you know, in, under the circumstances? Yeah. And from there on, from then on, we were like, whoa, wait a minute. And that was in the thick of Corona, by the way. In okay. the thick of Corona. So that was 2020, last yeah. year, towards the end. Yeah. yeah. And we were like, okay, how about we maybe do some short videos of just, you know, feet and hands talking to each other. Yeah. Right? Because, um, I mean, the story could go. It could go. So uh, later on, we were like, you know what? Let's just make this a full-fledged production. Yeah. Because uh, the, the, the dynamics of it uh, was such that it was, not as, it was not going to be as heavy as a basic production because okay. all we had to do we, was uh, get uh, talents or voices or yeah. actors yeah. come to the studio yeah. and voice the hands and feet. Okay. Right? So we decided to create a very, very compact story between two different individuals. Was voice, uh, voiceover, uh, uh, how do you call them, artists from the, you know, from the feet and guys from the, like, I mean, it was the yes. owners of the feet and hands who did the <laughs> voices as well. <laughs> yes. Um, for instance, myself, uh, it's, it's both. Okay. It's both because for instance, uh, well, one person has four limbs, right? Mm. Um, so that's four voices. Okay. So two hands, two feet, that's yeah. four oh, voices. Yeah. yeah, but at the end of the day, I was also voicing yeah. uh, my right hand. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and same thing to the, the character who was playing the other, um, let me call it the antagonist or pro pro uh, protagonist mm. uh, character. Mm. So yeah, we decided to, yeah, we got to the studio, got some, you know, characters or, or talents, uh, together and we scripted we you know got uh, a director on board who was yeah. so interested and excited to work uh, on an avant-garde you know concept and we got to produce uh, to produce uh, to producing you know i thought you did an amazing <laughs> job so when you watched the first episode because i've watched the first episode yeah. obviously for the first season okay. the first part is uh obviously i i can tell it was you and another guy yeah so it's doll and cutica Do, uh dole and dole? cutico cutico oh. <laughs> Cutico. <laughs> yeah, so Dole and Dole. Cutico. Yeah? Dole and Cutico. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the the limbs characters. So yeah. mostly the fingers and hands. And Actually, that's w that's the right hand. The my, right hand, um, yeah. So there's two. Let me let me just try and maybe get a, a uh, so that the audience can understand exactly how it works. For sure. These individuals, let me we call them hosts. Okay. Um, for instance, I'm a host yeah. as Maureen Koech. Mm -hmm. But as a host, I host limbs or yes. I have limbs, right? Yeah. So these are character. These are character. Mm -hmm. My right hand, uh, right hand, left hand. Right yeah. foot, left foot. Yeah. So these are different characters. Of Dole, uh, Cutico. Mm. Then there was Steppy and Teke. Oh, Steppy and Teke. Where were they? They were on uh, the other guys? No, no, no. Uh. My, still my feet. Oh, Steppy yeah, and so Teke. So there's hands and the ah, feet. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then the other guy, yeah. uh, uh, the host now, one yeah. of the hosts. Those yeah. were two hosts. Yeah. The other guy had uh, same thing. Uh, two hands, two feet. The first hand is Bare. Yeah, yeah so Bare. <laughs> and Guara. And Guara. Bare and Guara, and then Songa and Fitso. Yeah. Bare and Guara were the guys for. No, no, no. It, it was Fist, Fitso and Songa. Fitso, yeah. They were the ones for, you know, that they were dancing a lot at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. But, you know, um, how long did it take for you to, you know, produce the first episode, for example? Um, uh, what, what happens is when it comes to production, you can. Well, I know there's possibly productions out there who do it episode by episode yeah. by episode. Yeah. Um, but just to make it viable yeah. um, and feasible as a production, you know, to cut on costs and to just make the whole production com compact yeah. as much as possible, you just you you shoot per, for instance, per um, per location. Per location. So. For instance, we had gym scenes, right? Yeah. We went to the gym that day and shot all the gym scenes. Yeah. yeah. So the day, the, the, the house scenes, we, you know, we most of the scenes were in the house. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we, sh we, we had about uh, maybe 15 to 17 or so days wow. filming at the house. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of house scenes. I can tell. Yeah. yeah. And then I think what other scenes were there? Um, salon. There was a salon scene. Mm -hmm. Or salon scenes, actually. There were many. Mm -hmm. So that particular day, we went, shot everything. So right. we, Yeah. And then now in post-production, we bring it together. Yeah. And, you know, um, edit you know everything together the way it should be it's amazing yeah. what an editor does man yeah. i feel like they do they 
editors are so underrated. <laughs> but when I saw you at the 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 extremities, I, she just showed me, man, because I felt like the first of all the graphics and everything, the cinematography was very impressive. Wow. So much work. So hold it right there. We're gonna get back into the music, and then I'm gonna ask you about your favorite scene and your favorite characters and why right. they are your favorite. <laughs> Let's keep it moving, guys. Okay. Stick around for it's yo, actually hot dog by the brother Jadidi. This is the Modern Vibes on Vibes Radio. We are on On My Grind. And I gotta tell you, Maze, what? Kenyans matters and matters creativity, EV. And uh, just storylines, Maze, when it comes to content. It's amazing what guys are doing out here. And of course, for On My Grind, it is our job to showcase the amazing talent that Kenyans have. And hopefully you're gonna be inspired to probably produce your own content i'm gonna just buy this content you know what i mean share with the world so now maureen welcome again yeah so for starters you know imam by covid my name is sana guys have lost jobs mm. nini, nini. i'm gonna ask you yeah yeah how are you doing how are you ever since covid came about you know as an actress what's changed how you how's your how's your mental space well i mean I will not deny that there has been tough times. Yeah. There's definitely been tough times. Opportunities literally, I don't know, vi- um, disappeared through space. Yeah. <laughs> it's as if they all just decided, yeah, let's go. Let's let's keep these guys uh, here um, yeah. waiting. So anyhow, um, regardless, I would just say, um, you know, we, we, we decided, you know, what, regardless of whatever the circumstances are, yeah. um, you know, guys don't have yeah. jobs. If, you know, even right now, creatives are really just getting back into the whole vibe, vibe of uh, their crit- uh, creating. Mm. Yeah, because things have been locked up, mm. right? Uh, but regardless, we decided, you know what, let's move. Let's just move baby steps. Let's adopt and move on exactly. forward. Exactly. Yeah. Adapt to the space. Whatever opportunities are there, as small, as tiny yeah. as, they may, as, as they may seem, yeah. please use them. Because yeah. at the end of the day, um, when the world finally opens up yeah. um, in a better way or in better ways, mm. Trust me, a lot of opportunities are going to be there for a lot of the people who are moving when things were slow. Okay. Right? Yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, this. I, I know people go by this um, uh, way of thinking that people like to work with busy people. Uh-huh. Right? Um, if you fa- find someone who's just sitting there, couch potatoing over there, uh, and then you give them something to do, a lot of times you find, even if you give them a week, yeah, <laughs> yeah. they'll not have it done. They, they're not going to, yeah. Exactly. But if you give someone who's busy... Um, chances are because they are used to um, scheduling, they're used to planning, they're used yeah. to doing uh, work, they'll be able to schedule it, schedule it in and they'll be able to present. You know, as uh, you speak, yeah. I'm reminded of a related guru. He said some very important words. Ali yeah. Sama, if he was, because he's very rich, mm-hmm. if he was to uh, distribute, like spread out his money and yeah. give it to you know the world, mm-hmm. let's say poor people, yeah. yeah? That money will still find its way back to his bank. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just found it so funny yeah. because people people are not as procreative, yeah. regardless of the fact that they are aware they have to be procreative. Yeah. And I'm wondering what has changed for you. Like, what are you doing differently right mm-hmm. now, especially with regards to your art? Like, right. Uh, so what we decided is first number one we had to find ways of getting sustainable and being sustainable uh, having our art be uh, sustainable as possible Um, so what we decided to do for instance is we have our own shop we have our own shop where we sell our content a physical shop or online Uh, online shop it's an online shop it's uh, well we go by the term uh, VOD uh, video on demand yeah Uh, video on demand yeah Yeah, video on demand Yeah. just like you know Netflix we have the you know all these other uh, big brands Yeah. Uh, we have our own in house VOD. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, even for this show, The yeah. Extremities, yeah. You, full season one is there. Episode nice. one is absolutely free. Yeah. You know, just to get you in, rope you in a little bit. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you have to know what you're buying, what you're, you know, what you're getting, the deal that you're getting into. Yeah. And then, yeah, for um, an affordable price of 250 shillings. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, for a month yeah. or wow. three fifty for yeah. four months. Not just the episode, <laughs> a whole for four months. Yes, for four months. Why are you making it so affordable? Like Ma- that? We yeah? have to. We have to take it into consideration yeah. that number one, times are tough. Yeah, and then there's also the econ- economies of scale. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. you just have yeah. to. Yeah. Um, we, we we want everyone to be a part of it. It's also part of the, the inclusivity bit. Yes, you know, we don't want to price it 
2000 bob yeah. so that just you know a certain uh, kind or caliber of people uh-huh. can buy i mean that's no it's not fair because at the end of the day i believe we are one we are doing this for everyone out there yeah. so we want to make it as inclusive as, as possible so for your two, with your 250 bob your 350 bob uh, go in there as a support 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 the arts and um, yeah, um, it will it will enable us to empower us to mm. go out there and do more, mm. and yeah. So that's the site is relichouse.tv www.relichouse.tv relichouse.tv. We're gonna yes. put it on our social media Thank actually. You. It's really dope. So now I was gonna ask you about monetizing, but I feel like ume ume chambua everything. Uh-huh. Is there anything you wanna <laughs> add uh, with regards to how you're monetizing the you know extremities? Right. Um, well, we're trying to speak to uh, several partners out there. Mm. Uh, so if yeah, if you're out there and if you're hearing, for instance, we were working with uh, Momentum Gym, okay. we were working with Very Nice Magazine, we were working with a number of brands who, are, who had come on on, uh, on board in kind and in monetary terms right. to support us. Yeah. Uh, so you know that's another end. Mm. So we we're not just looking at one you know um, area where we or one way we uh, we can we can monetize. We want yeah. to see it in a holistic you know uh, angle. Uh, like so lens yeah or lens yeah so. Um, yeah, w- what I would say is we want to, s- you know, work with as many partners and uh, perhaps even sponsors as much as possible. And I got to tell you, Mazel, yeah. we want to be your partner as Vibes Radio. Yeah. Yeah, because we're very big when it comes to matters, uh, innovation and creativity. <laughs> Thank you. You know, out here in the 254. But, you know, what other ways are you promoting the show, like uh, other than doing media tours? Right. Yeah. Um, ways we're doing this is now uh, we have a mentorship drive that yeah. we're doing with uh, universities. Mm. So we've actually gone to KCA. Oh, we've okay. done KCA University. We were there last, yeah. was it a month and a half ago yeah. or so? Yeah. Uh, so we're activating the show. We were... Um, uh, we were roping them in creatively, uh, talent-wise, yeah. trying to see what they have in regard to their, to their talents mm. uh, and have them produce and, and get on board the ship of the extremities. Because yeah. what we want to do is we want people to recreate the show. Oh, okay. We want to franchise, yeah, yeah. We want to franchise the show and have uh, people create their own yeah. uh, you know, videos incorporating the concept yeah. uh, so that's just in, in regards to the schools you know internationally which tr- we're speaking with as many partners as possible right. uh, we should be doing uh, we should be going to Daystar University very soon okay. yeah we were scheduled to actually do an event an online event yeah. but well we had a few technical glitches we yeah. were not able to do that it's fine so yeah thank you um, so yeah Daystar University is next and yeah. then JQuart we've also spoken to ah. them and Strathmore University as well wow. I mean we, we want to go the whole yeah. way we want to yeah. go yeah we have the top unis you 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 end as well <laughs> you will end we'll be speaking to them yeah. uh we'll be speaking to them we haven't yet uh, approached them but we will definitely be be, uh, be approaching yeah. them yeah. so now um um you know when i look at matters create creative this creative uh, space yeah uh, you know, the creatives on the rise i used to have a feature like that back in the day. <laughs> Um, uh, did you ever think when you were ri- uh, when you were coming up with the concept and I'm right. just writing because uh, you re- you did the storyline right? Yeah. Did you ever think maybe it's a bit too creative? And did you ever think? And were you probably imagining Kenyans wouldn't uh, be receptive to the show? Definitely, it crossed our minds. Yeah. But I mean, we were just like, you know what? Let's just do this. I mean, number one is it's such a fresh and unique concept. It has not been literally every. Uh, per stake, post potential stakeholder, I yeah. we show the video out to. Yeah. Um, like yesterday, we were having a meeting uh, yeah. with uh, you know potential partners out, there and they were, they were like, "What? But this is so crazy! Yeah. How did you think of this? Yeah. You know, and that's the general comment commentary on this is this is so creative. How did you think about this? And we are humbled, by the way. Uh, you know, just you know beating our chests out there. But um, the thing is, we decided to take a chance. Uh, we were aware of that, but uh, in, in sometimes, and a lot of times actually, yeah. you have to take risks. Yeah. And, and a lot of risks are high risk, high reward. Yeah. Uh, so you just kind of have to take a look at or, or yeah. analyze and see, okay, is it Am I able to risk yeah. this or lose this? Yeah. If it's not not if you if there's not too much to lose, yeah. or if the loss is not well, is worth it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> then why not? I mean, it's you a know? matter of cost, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly it's a yeah. matter of because we ha- you know of course we spend quite a bit of yeah. money. Can you imagine uh, creating this? Yeah. So now Vibes Nation, let me just say one thing. Najwa, you're probably <laughs> wondering now, Kev, I don't get any in Um Super anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this move, this uh, the series, the web series in Aitua, the extremities. What happens is. And though we check it once, we we put it on our Instagram. It's uh, it's and also the leg, the limbs, the legs. Isn't the characters? Not actually the face talking. It is the fingers and the hands and the legs. 
the feet talking those are the characters not the face so <laughs> even in the series you can't see people's faces you just see the hands and the fingers talking i think it's something that's never been done and it's not an animation i think it's real real yeah i really love the concept and uh, let's get back into the music i love Futikirudi. We'll talk about your journey as an actress because sure. you've been you've been you've worked with superstars especially in africa Maze. you've been in nigeria <laughs> yeah. people remember you from changing times yeah, man. so we'll talk about your journey and what your other projects are that you're working on sure thing randy road hood celebrity in just a bit let's keep it moving fam have a reggae morning on vibes radio Big ups to Africa. Clearly, we're making moves. The future looks so bright for Africa. In fact, this is the future. And because of that, I want to give a massive shout out to everybody out there that is creating, you know, that's adding value to this amazing continent called Africa. Speaking of which, uh, Maureen, what are your thoughts on Africa Month? Africa Month? What does it mean to you? Africa Month is celebrating, innately celebrating uh, who I am. Uh, who I came from, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because there's there's been you know guys who came before me. Yeah. Um, my parents, my great grandparents, my great great grandparents great, who great, great. Yeah. fought for this country yeah. in their way, you know, yeah. um, on on the uh, you know on war zone or in, in in you know in their various you know ways, I guess. Mm. Yeah, so I'm celebrating everyone who is, uh, will be, and was. Do you? This is a side question. Yeah. Um, do you? Do you guys document stories about your greats, like your great grandparents? Have you got like pictures? Yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. Um, not well. I think do we have pictures. Well, your family, of, so of course. Much. Not so much. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of um, uh, word of mouth sort of oh. communication yeah, yeah. and something about Africa. Whereby um, yeah. a lot of our stories were very oral, yes. you know, oral tales yeah. type thing. So it's pretty much the same with me or my family line yeah. uh, or history. Uh, there's not so much uh, visual. Yeah. There's a lot of oral. Yeah. Uh, we're lucky. We're <laughs> lucky because our kids yeah. and for future generations, especially Africans, yeah. they're going to see what we've done. Exactly. And they can refer to it and say, okay, you know what, Maureen did this and this. Yes. And so I can learn from it and hopefully mm -hmm. do something a bit differently. Right. Documenting. Documenting, stuff like this. <laughs> Thank God for the internet yeah, Manze. for sure yeah so moving forward um uh where did you grow up i grew up in nairobi zimaman estate Woo, Zima. Zima. That's what's up. Uh, you know they're on lock uh, know in the building for yes. sure man yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that was that's my hood yeah so yeah i grew up, grew up in nairobi went to thicker christian school yeah um and then went off to nakuru high school nakuru in high nakuru school. yeah uh -huh. And then back to Na in Nair back to Nairobi, went to Strathmore Uni. Nice. Yeah. When did you start acting? Acting was in high school. I remember, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, being called from class. Everyone is there being serious with their yeah. academics. <laughs> <laughs> and then like the Piri or something comes and calls me. Eh, the bus is leaving for music. Yeah. Music wow. uh, uh, competitions yeah. degree, and, and I don't know where Kakamega or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to leave. Uh, and I was the only person in my class Can who imagine. was doing arts at yeah. that time. And it was really, well, in some ways, it was looked down upon. Yeah. You know, because we were, we were coming, we were still in that time whereby, you know, arts was being looked down upon as, you mm. know, a second class, mm. you know, um, place to or do people, something to do. It's, it's for people for, who cannot hack yes, sciences. Uh -huh, <laughs> right? For non-mathematicians. <laughs> <I know>. uh, <laughs> people who don't understand one plus one. For real. So, so now, do you, feel like, um, um, do you feel like you were born to be an actress? For sure. 100%? For sure. For sure. This, I was born to be in this space. Yeah. Because number one, of course, there's the fact that I, am, I feel I am successful at it. Mm -hmm. I am um, definitely growing and, you know, doing amazing, wonderful things things out there for God. Yeah. God is my everything. <laughs> so I do everything for the you know for the glory and honor of God. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm thriving at it, I right? Like that. Yeah. Um I think that's a very, you know, it's 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 uh you know, it's something to look at in terms yeah. of okay, um am I meant to be in this space? Am I happy? That's the I am word. Very Are you happy? happy? Happy and thriving. I can happy see. Happy and th You're thriving. You're glowing over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but but the other question is uh yeah. for people who know you. Right. 
they know the fact that you've been in the game for a while. Yeah, for sure. I remember since uh, uh, Lies at Bind, mm -hmm. you also had uh, Changing Times. Yeah. You also acted in Nigeria. Let's right. talk about Nigeria. How was your experience over there? Oh, Nigeria. Yeah. I need to go back. I need to go back. Wow, you miss it? Abi, I need to go back. Wow. <laughs> what did you I miss, miss about... What did you miss... Uh, let me try and hack the accent. <laughs> what did you miss about Nigeria? What I miss about Nigeria yeah. is <laughs> people. Yeah. People, people. I mean, I love the people of Nigeria. They're very warm, very inviting, very open people i thought they hate on kenyans um I, honestly i yeah. didn't i didn't get that hate i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah. i'm sorry kenyans i don't agree with you partly <laughs> i don't agree with you <laughs> me i had an amazing time with these people yeah. they, they treat people they treat well they treated me nice they treated yeah, yeah. Me. although you they're, they're very feisty yeah. for sure you have yeah. to be a strong person okay very um, expressive yeah very expressive as well because they are expressive mm. men they're larger than and life they're loud. yeah and they're loud yeah. in a good way yeah. in a good way i love the loudness I, yeah. I i found myself a lot of times just sitting in a corner yeah. just watching them talk I know that's weird. Yeah. I know. <laughs> just because I, I enjoy just seeing them, you know, yeah. doing the whole lingo thing. And, the, um, and then, quick one. Why do Nigerian movies and series do better than Kenya? Sorry? Uh, How? Nigerian movies especially. Uh -huh. It feels like they do better in terms of revenue. Yeah. Uh, they have like a wider audience. Uh -huh. It's probably because of population, but right. also what else? Now, um, the culture there, the arts culture in yeah. Nigeria is like through the roof okay a hundred percent um really really good i mean they have th the locals they are really support their own you know how you'd have here like a marvel movie yeah. showing and then kenyans will be there like yeah. um can you gang each other to go and see that movie yeah. in nigeria it's their own mo they, they they watch more of their own stuff as than as, as opposed to foreign stuff uh. yeah um and i'm not saying that foreign is bad it's yeah. all right it's yeah. good to also support because at the end of the day we learn from each other yeah, 100%. yeah uh regardless i would say i would yeah. love to you know perhaps inspire uh kenyans out there to support our own let's support our support our own music our own arts our our, our own painters sculptors yep, yep. i mean name it yeah all the artists that we have um you know within the artistic landscape in kenya yeah. let's support let's buy kenya build kenya i love it's that. the only let me tell you nigeria yeah. the entertainment industry is second to uh oil hollywood no, or, no i, I said hollywood oil? no you said oil. oil oil yeah it's second second to oil okay in regard to gdp yeah yeah Can um you how what? yeah entertainment Jesus. it's crazy i mean that's how much they're raking in, in entertainment it's not even tourism for them it's the agriculture Imagine. And it's the arts and the arts music and film man yeah, it's, man. it's huge you there we're going to get there as a country we Kenya? are going to get there how long do you think i think it, give us another five to ten years yeah i think we'll be well on our way yeah because yeah. right now we're raking in revenue we're for sure. yeah, in the billions isn't it for sure for yeah, sure so it's just a matter of the time industry is great i love that i love the way kenya film commission is really supporting yeah. uh the the you know the the the, uh, the film uh, space right now yeah um and yeah i think once we have government on board mm. really supporting once we have the audiences the artists mm. themselves coming i mean we need to be, we need to come together as well as artists yeah. uh with our unions with mm. our you know just the individual um whatever entities that we might have um you know let's come together once yeah. we when we come together we'll do great things mm. but when we're just you know split and doing our own things you know separately yeah. we, we might not accomplish much 100%. so what i know about the Ni nigerians is they do things together mm. they support They're, each other they yeah. really support each other um and then they don't wait until uh they have everything figured out to yeah. do something yeah right um so long as they have a camera sound somewhere light you know, or a torch somewhere like game on uh, it's game on yeah. yeah they don't need to go and that's you buy i don't know up and I, but you know kenyans we like to say ah let me wait until i have sijui three million in the bank and then i'll be able to start <laughs> write a proposal uh, write a proposal me. then you're there sending yeah. proposals and business plans <laughs> oh lord my goodness you shouldn't approach <laughs> the arts creativity like that it should be so seamless <laughs> and just natural you know so so now as we wrap up and i like how you say kenyans we have to support each other by kenyans for kenyans all that yeah this uh this series the web series extremities yeah where can people get it in uh if people want to buy because right. i said you know you, you said the first episode is free first episode is free. yeah, yeah. what's yes. the process moving forward for everyone now yeah. um log on to www.relichouse.com that's r-e-l-i-c house nyumba h-o-u-s-e yeah www.relichouse.com 
and uh, follow the prompts. Um, of course, on the homepage, you'll be able to, you know, see different tabs, you know, yeah. about us and, yeah. you know, our shows. You'll be able to watch episode one free. And then um, now, uh, once you sign up, because you have to sign up, you yeah. know, give your credentials, email address and password. Mm. And then now you'll be able to subscribe. Now the yeah. subscription is the purchase awesome. process of it. Of it, yeah. yeah. So yeah, subscribe uh, by paying two hundred and fifty shillings. So affordable. Uh, or yeah, thank you. Yeah. Or three fifty via M-Pesa, mm. Visa. I mean, name it. All those uh, payment gateways are available. So, but you know, Kenyans, Najua. Um, is it gonna premiere <laughs> big screen amas to the COVID in MMS Uh We actually premiered it. We we launched it. Let me let me call it a launch. A we launch. launched it at Momentum Gym nice. some time back. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we had a let me call it a small screen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, big screen wise, we trust we trust that yeah. um, God will open ways uh, yeah. and we'll be able to launch it big time. Yeah. Regardless, we're speaking with uh, a number of uh, content aggregators and distributors who can come on board and 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 get the content out there to the world awesome um yeah and i think it's notable to say that we have a nigerian actor you on, do yeah and a jamaican actress what yes you need to bring <laughs> next time we're having this engagement bring them over <laughs> well they're, yeah. they're, amen amen yeah. we will be able to they in kenya they're in nigeria what like they you know, they're, they're in individual their countries. countries yes ah, yeah we okay. actually okay. did um I remember for the for the Jamaican yeah. um, part, yeah. we did a live recording. Like we're recording like this. They're yeah. in Jamaica recording. Yeah. So the d- so he's doing it for the limbs as well. Ama, yeah. this is just his face and like no more. Just know, limbs. For just for limbs. Yeah, as well, it was yeah? for the one ah. of the limb. One, uh, uh, it was um, um, the, one of the main hosts. Uh, I think it's the right foot. Mm-hmm. Steppy. Steppy. Steppy is a Jamaican character uh, or a Jamaican, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. that's what's up, guys. Uh, I can see we don't have enough time. But that uh, series, the web series in Etoa, The Extremities, it's so dope. Yeah, it's about the limbs. Especially the feet ones. That that one just killed it for me. <laughs> but they, you know, these are characters. They actually have names and they converse. They have a storyline. Right. So when the Mazo check is support more in Korea, it's called The Extremities. Uh, find it. Uh, more information is on our social media. And then uh, hopefully you're going to subscribe and let's enjoy Kenyan content. Maureen, thank you so much. Thank you. And we're going to engage further and uh, hopefully create more and more. For sure, for sure. Shout out yeah. to my team, the Extremities team, Kina Kibi, Kina uh, Polo Gali, yeah. Shira. I know they're listening wherever they, they are. Um, and thank you so much, Rushian Diedrich, all the way from Jamaica, uh, Lord Frank, all the way from Nigeria. Big up yourself, uh, Jamaican Big up yourself and everyone else, Maze, Nandu yeah. Kinoa, Penda Sana, Dante's Thank you. That's thank you. Thank you what's to what's Vibes up. Radio, man. Y'all yeah. are amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's Vibes what's Radio, up. all the way. Good vibes. Yeah. Right. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation.